Did you know that spring has sprung officially yesterday? Yeah, so my spring chicken is now really a spring chicken. Oh, hello. We didn't see you there. Welcome to Pre-K Sunday with me, Miss Aria, and the house kitten, Daisy Cat. And since spring has sprung, I'm really ready to go. So can can me and my chicken sing the doxology? Oh, yeah, sure. You may sing the doxology. And we would like to lead it with Daisy. Okay, well, uh, we will see how that goes. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, get to the song. Okay, Daisy, um, are you ready? Oh, 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 please, please be kind to my chicken. Love my neighbor, my chicken, and your neighbor by not eating it. Okay, now, uh, the doxology is calling everyone together, that's right, to praise and worship God. So, um, get on your feet if you can, and let's sing together. So let me press play. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> Sorry, still getting used to this technology thing. All right. All you who are of tender heart, forgiving others, take your part. Sing his praises, hallelujah. What the fuck? He who long pain and sorrow bear, praise God and on him cast your care. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise him. some crunching in the background. Oh, that's so wonderful, Sherma. I'm so glad you loved your neighbor by giving her some treats. And now it seems that it would be time for the mailbox. Oh, it is time. Oh, <laughs> should we get that now? Oh, sounds good, Kevin. I was like, what does the box say? But then I was wondering what an octopus says. Oh, um, anyway, that was a, a great little uh, music you had. And um, now let's see what was inside the mailbox. Oh my goodness gracious, it's my stuffed bunny! Yay! Oh, it's your stuffed bunny. Yeah, his name's Peter. Oh, your stuffed bunny is named Peter, Peter Rabbit. Yeah, and you said that Peter was in our story today. So that's why I put Peter Rabbit in the mailbox. Oh, you put Peter Rabbit in the mailbox, but City Rabbit Easter's for Jesus. Well, that is right. I, I don't think that there is actually a rabbit in our story today. You see, um, Easter is, is all about Jesus. It's, it's not about bunnies, though bunnies are a very fun part of spring. But um, I, there is actually another Peter in our story today. I'll get that now! Wanna come with me, bunny? He doesn't talk much, but he can hear he has on listening ears. Okay, sounds good. So one day I was counting all of my arms, and I found out that I am more than my bunny. Oh, well, that is very, very cool. Thank you for that wonderful story, Kyle. <laughs> Getting the mail is always more fun with you guys. So um, now let's see what's inside the mailbox. Oh! This is the Peter in our story today. Ah, uh, yes! You see, one time Peter was some pickled peppers, but now he's dill relish, and it looks like you've been eating some veggie burgers lately. Well, you know, he, he was in the fridge. That's okay. 
I can still play Peter. Yes, Peter is an actor and he is playing Peter, one of Jesus' apostles in our story today. Yes, we're learning about Jesus' last meal with his disciples before he was crucified, died on the cross for our sins, and rose again, which is why we celebrate Easter! Not because of bunnies! Oh, yes, <laughs> that is very right. Thank you so much. Oh, and Daisy, did you want to say hi to Peter? Oh, hello, Daisy. I remember you well. Yes, <laughs> they are best friends. So, I am so excited to learn about our story today. But, you know, it seems like there's just one... Oh, <laughs> I'll get that now. It might as well be the mailbox. Thank you so much for getting the mail with me, Daisy. And now you may go back to your chair and let's see what's inside. It says to Miss Aria and the kids from God. And yes, she is getting better and better at her upside down reading every day because she's taking classes via Zoom. Oh, God, thank you uh, so much for, for sharing that with everyone, Lionel. Yes, um, uh, we know how to upside down read in pre-K Sunday. Yeah! this is I see that hand cheese yeah it's the Bible it's God's word oh can I see the next part oh sure thing Chucky it's the wonderful things he wants us to know about him because he loves us this much this much this much Woo oh my goodness gracious we're okay don't worry we're learning how to do stunts via zoom oh wow I am so glad we have our resident uh, stunt mouse and what are you? I, I think I'm a dog or something. Uh, and dog. Um, so thank you so much. That was really uh, wonderful work, everyone. Don't try this at home. And uh, yes, you are so right. This is the Bible. It is God's word. It's the wonderful things he wants us to know about him because he loves us so, so very much. So we are adding on to the memory verse that we began last week. It is, does anyone remember what it was? Oh, you remember, Peggy? Yeah, it's E. Well, I remember the E because there's an E in my name. Yes, it is Ephesians. Can you say that? Ephesians. Yes, Ephesians. And then do you remember where it was from? Um, 2 8. <gasps> Ephesians 2 8. You are so right. And how did you remember that? Well, because at home, which is actually just right over there, that's where you keep me all week anyway. At home, I have two candy canes. And I wish I had eight. Oh, you have two candy canes and you wish you had eight. So that's how you remember Ephesians 2 eight. Yeah. Wowie, kazowie, that is cool. Beans, thank you for helping us with that memory trick. Oh, yeah. Pigs have great memories, by the way. Oh, well, thank you so much for that fun fact. So, yes, Ephesians 2 8, we began it last week and we're adding on to it this week. So, let's uh, remember what we learned last week. It goes. For by grace, you have been saved. Can you do that? For by grace, you have been saved. And then we're going to add on through faith. And this is a sign language for faith. Ooh, that's really handy dandy, isn't it? Yes, it is very handy dandy. So, for by grace, you have been saved through faith. Great job. And then we are going to add on to it with this. And this is not your own doing. Can you do that? And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. And you're going to do the sign language for God. So when we say, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, what does that mean? Well, doesn't it mean that, like, I'm not the one who, like, earns my, like, salvation? Yeah, that is so right. It means that we don't work to earn our own salvation. We can't do anything for our own salvation. We don't work our way into heaven by doing a certain number of good deeds or, or earning stickers on a chart. <laughs> That's right. You see, our salvation comes by God's grace alone through having faith alone in Christ alone. Ah, and that's why we sing that song. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Yes, that is so right. Well, that's kind of nice. Like, it kind of takes the pressure off of me because I know that Jesus is the one who paid it all. So I just need to have faith in him. Because it's like a gift. It's like a present from God that I just need to accept. That is so right, Kevin. Oh, and there's one more thing I want to do. Thank you 
sentiment. Thank you so much, Kevin. That was so wonderful. So yes, that was a wonderful thing to share. And um, now, now that we have all of that in our noggins, let's put that memory verse together one more time. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Wonderful job. Give yourselves a round of applause. You know, oh, 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 that was a wonderful uh, high note. Yes, my high note class is via Zoom on Saturday mornings. All right. And um, now let's see what's in the pineapple of wonder. The pineapple of wonder. Yes, the pineapple of wonder. I am so excited. I actually did not uh, stuff the pineapple today. So let's see um, what, what's inside. Oh, wow. Hmm. We have uh, cinnamon toast rice cakes and kombucha. Oh, yeah! Can I explain that to you? Yes, I, I would love an explanation for these snacks. Well, in our story today, I was reading it before class because I learned how to read and I'm loving my neighbor Kyle by reading to him. Yeah, he's loving his neighbor. Oh, that's so wonderful. So um, you were reading the story to Kyle before class and, and what happened? Well, it said that Jesus broke bread in our story today, but you didn't have any bread in your house. So I just got those cinnamon toast rice cakes. Well, Miss Oreo is gluten free. Oh, well, uh, I, I, I understand. Uh, thank you so much for, for finding the, the rice cakes that, that are going to remind us of the, the bread in the story. Yeah, I figured it was a good representation. And then um, does anyone want to explain why there is a uh, berry kombucha in here? Well, you brewed it yourself, didn't you? I saw you with the scoby. Yes, we, we did brew the kombucha, didn't we? Yeah, Thursday night is booch night in the Keller house. And um, so, so, but why do we have uh, kombucha in the pineapple? Well, because in that story, Jesus poured out some wine. But you didn't have any wine, so I just used this uh, kombucha because you also didn't have any grape juice. Oh, wonderful. So so in our story today, Jesus um, uses bread and, and wine in the Last Supper. So thank you so much for these really um, creative representations. <laughs> yes, for these creative representations. And now I think we should get into the lesson. Right, Peter? Yes. I've been waiting for this moment. All right, so let's all uh, say a prayer together. Can we shake out our hands? One side, other side, up, down, and then put them together. And let's bow our heads and talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for the kids who are watching this video. Thank you that we can learn about you together. And thank you that we know our salvation comes by your grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Please help us to take this story to heart and to remember all that Jesus has done for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, let's get into the lesson. Have you ever seen a parent or an older sibling take communion? Wait, Miss Ario, did you say onion? Mm, onions, I have onions on my sandwiches all the time. And remember that one time when an onion came to class? Are you talking about me? Ah! Anyway, onions, 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 and no silly octopi. Miss Audio said canyon, as in the Grand Canyon. Oh, Miss Audio, are we going on a field trip? Well, not quite. I said communion. Oh, and communion is a special way believers in Jesus can remember Jesus' life and death on the cross. It is a way we look forward to the day when Jesus will return. That's right, Sally. Now we are going to learn how Jesus taught his disciples to remember him. It is what we call the Lord's Supper. The disciples went into the city to prepare the Passover meal. When the meal was ready, Jesus reclined with us at the table. Now, let's turn in our Bible to John chapter 13. Oh wait, I already turned there. Right. It says right here. 
Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. That's right. We didn't realize it yet, but Jesus knew he was about to die on the cross to pay the price for the sins of the world so we could be forgiven. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. Jesus stood up from the table. He tied a towel around his waist, poured water into a basin, and began to wash our feet. Wow! That's quite a job! But not everyone has as many feet as we do, Kyle! But still! But you gotta understand, back in our day, that was the job of a servant when someone entered a house. Jesus, our King, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, was doing a job meant for a servant. Wowie kazowie! Yeah, that's like if the president started cleaning my socks, but even bigger, because no one is holy and powerful and awesome like Jesus is. That's right. At first, I wasn't on board. I didn't think Jesus should be stooping so low as to wash my feet. But he explained that I would understand later. When he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done for you. You see, Jesus was humbling himself. He was showing his disciples that they needed to humble themselves and serve one another so that God could be glorified through their loving actions. Matthew twenty six twenty six says, oh, you said, oh yeah, sure, go in. Oh, uh, thank you so much. All right, now it says, now as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples, and said, take, eat, this is my body, and he took a cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. At this special meal, Jesus said that his death would establish a new covenant or a new promise from God. God would forgive the sins of those who trust in his son, Jesus. Oh yeah! That's why sometimes there are a lot of crackers and a juice in church! And that's why you put kombucha and these cinnamon toast rice cakes and the pineapple of wonder. Well, it was supposed to be a representation. And crackers or bread and juice serve as a representation of the meal that Jesus had with his disciples. That's right! The bread represents the body of Jesus. And the drink represents the blood of Jesus. Ah, oh, yes, Sister Sally. And all of this happened right before Jesus died on the cross 
for our sins. Our perfect King, Jesus, humbled himself and came to save us. He sacrificed his body and shed his blood so we could be forgiven, so we could be freed from our sins. Then he defeated sin and death and rose from the grave, which is why we celebrate Easter. Now, believers participate in communion or the Lord's Supper to remember Jesus and proclaim what he has done for us. Communion is a time to reflect on the gift of Jesus and find oneness with God through his great love. Now, let's say a prayer together. Can we all shake out our hands together and make a boop? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> So funny, you just are a hoot. All right, and then put your hands together and let's bow our heads and talk to God. Dear God, thank you for the gift of Jesus. Please teach us to serve one another and to remember what you have done for us. Please help us to honor and worship you with our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Mm, Barry Booch! Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Pre-K Sunday. We hope you have fun with your craft and with your praise and worship, and we will see you next week. Now, Daisy, would you like to try some kombucha? It's raspberry blackberry flavored.